Hello again. Yes, here we are back in my gorgeous Hawaiian backyard. Okay. So nothing more calming than to be by the ocean. I think you've heard me say that before. So we're going to talk about communicating, calming down and word choice. Okay. It's really important how we choose our words when we're arguing. Most of us lose control and sight about that. So we, we do recommend that you meditate before you make heavy confrontations or enter complicated conversations or just make decisions that are complicated. If you meditate on it, remember our mothers used to say, you go to bed and sleep on it. If you have a problem, you'll think better in the morning. Well, there's a lot of truth to that. So do not speak out in the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment, all kinds of words fly and they hurt so bad. So let's give an example. So let's say you want to say to somebody, I hate the way you've been treating me. All right. So right off the bat, what are you doing? You're doing a confrontation. You're telling them I hate, which is a strong word, the way you are treating me, okay? So instead of using those words, if you had just said, you know, it would be nice if you can express yourself a little nicer. You really hurt my feelings when you say those things in a bad way, okay? See the two qualities? One's very harsh and one's a little softer. So you wanna choose your words carefully. When you're in the heat of the moment with a, a partner, let's say with anyone for that matter, but when you're in the, especially when it's your partner and it's an important issue that uh, it, it, between the two of you, uh, if I say something like, I hate you, that's a childish statement having a tantrum. Uh, it's like spouting out a word that you don't, you don't necessarily meant to say, but it's the strongest way you can express your emotion at that moment. However, instead of saying, I hate you, if you do just say, I really, really am hurt when you say those things in that way, okay? Big difference again. So that's up to you, harsh or mild. How do you want to say the words? And so these are things that you need to um, think about before you open your mouth. When tensions are building in a... Um, partnership and you're getting more and more frustrated, especially when your life depends on the other person and you're, you're very intensely uh, related to each other, uh, their ups and downs become your ups and downs. And the next thing you know, um, you know, nothing you can do about it. You can't control their ups and downs so much as you can control your own. So you can't control what other people say, but you can control the way you react to it. So it's very important that you choose your words carefully. And I would actually advise people if they have issues they wanna discuss with a loved one, I would actually advise them to write it out maybe uh, before they commit to expressing it out in the open. Because once those words come out, once those words are out in the atmosphere, there's no taking them back. So when you say hurtful or mean things to your partner, your child, uh, it's a way of communicating that you can't take back. And I think we, every one of us can remember something negative somebody said to us as a child, but they didn't intend for it to be negative. It just was negative by the time we heard it. Okay. And it still hurts. We carry it with us forever. Okay. So we want to be careful about that. Um, and if you're in a relationship that's headed uh, towards too much dissension, you really might want to seek out some professional help in order to uh, help you sort out those things. Sometimes it's just if we tweak just a little bit our perception of what people are saying or our perception of the problem. Uh, for instance, let's say your partner leaves underwear out on the floor and this bothers you because you want a very clean house and that's just one more chore that you have to do and you feel they're being disrespectful to you because they know it bothers you and they're doing it anyway, okay? So your anger, instead of expressing it, is building up, building up, building up. You're mad, you're angry. You've told them a few times and nothing changed. And now you're, you're ready to do combat. So you become so overreactive to the problem that you're going to possibly, if you're overreactive to the problem, you're going to possibly assault them with some words like, damn it, why can't you pick up something? You're such a slob. You're always doing that. Okay, isn't that a harsh way of saying things? You could make a joke of it and just say, you know what? I think every time you leave that underwear on the floor, 
I'm going to have you do an extra chore and you're going to have to do uh, dishes that night uh, or some kind of comical thing that's between the two of you that you might want uh, in place of it. And you'd be surprised at different ways of, or <laughs> of course the extreme would be to take all their underwear and hide it. That would definitely get their attention. But um, so there's a lot of alternatives and a lot of times you can use humor to circumvent a problem, but make the point just as well, okay? So when you're discussing things with your partner, when you're building up inside of you with this aggravation and tension, like, oh, they're not listening to me, they don't respect me, they don't love me, uh, they're not doing this for me, and all these negative words are coming into your mind, sit down and write out how you can express it. And I'll guarantee you, if you write it out in the heat of the moment when you're angry, all by yourself, not to them, you write it out, close the book, and come back a half hour later and look at it again, you're going to say, oh my God, why did I write that? And change your wording, I promise you. So please follow this technique because the end goal is not to hammer the person over the head with your words. The end goal is to get a resolution to the problem. And if that's really what you want, a positive resolution to the problem, then please try this technique. Write out your words before you say them. If you have a tendency to be harsh mouthed, which some of us are, and some of us are at different times, especially when we're emotionally upset, uh, you might want to tone that down quite a bit. And by all means, don't try to have a productive discussion under the influence of substances. If you're drunk or if you're on drugs, by all means, don't even bother because nothing good's going to come out of that. Okay. So try the meditation. Meditation works. Bring yourself into that calm state and then go privately and write out phrases that you might want to say. And I'll guarantee you when you compare the phrase when you first write it and think about it 30 minutes or an hour later, it's going to be very different. Okay. I wish you good luck on choosing your words carefully. All right. God bless. <laughs>